a promising treatment for COVID-19 in major trials in the UK and across the world comes from research supported by the Medical Research Council over more than five decades and dating back to the discovery of the first coronavirus in 1965. Stephen Holgate is MRC Clinical Professor of Immunopharmacology at the University of Southampton. In the 1970s, while he was pursuing his specialty training, he met David Tyrrell, one of the co-discoverers of the first coronaviruses, a group of viruses that includes the common cold and COVID. David was the director of the MRC Common Cold Research Unit in Salisbury, and research at this unit showed that coronaviruses were responsible for around 10% of common cold infections. He developed a PCR-based diagnostic test for rhinoviruses that helped the team in Southampton investigate how these viruses contribute to worsening of asthma symptoms. The team grew the cells that line our airway, known as epithelial cells, in the lab. They then found that epithelial cells from asthma patients are less able to get rid of respiratory viruses and prevent the cell damage that they cause. And that's because these epithelial cells from asthma patients can't produce enough of a protein called interferon beta, an important part of our body's antiviral defenses. So in theory, if asthmatic cells are given interferon beta, they will be able to protect themselves against viral replication and damage. This is exactly what the team showed when they added in a small amount of interferon beta and saw that asthmatic cells were completely protected. And it wasn't just for asthmatic cells. The team showed similar responses when using cells from patients who smoked and had chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD. But what if the interferon beta could be given to patients in an inhaler? In 2004, Stephen Holgate and two colleagues, Donna Davis and Radko Djukanovic, launched a company called Synergin, supported by institutional capital via the London Stock Exchange's AIM market to commercialize this idea. Could this same approach work for treating COVID-19 as well? The team knew that other coronaviruses also evade our immune system by reducing the production of interferon beta. Professor Tom Wilkinson with the Southampton team and Synergin then ran a trial involving 101 hospitalized COVID-19 patients at nine centers across the UK. Half received inhaled interferon beta and half placebo given once daily for 14 days. When compared with placebo, inhaled interferon beta significantly reduced the odds of developing severe disease by 82%, increased the likelihood of recovery two to threefold, and markedly reduced breathlessness. Three of the patients in the placebo group unfortunately died of COVID-19, but promisingly, none of the patients receiving the drug died. The effectiveness of inhaled interferon beta was very promising because previous studies using the drug in injected form showed no benefit. It means that to be effective, the drug must be delivered through the airway using an inhaler so that it localizes to the lungs where the virus is. The Synergen team in Southampton is moving on to the next stage of delivering a study in the community, both in the UK and US and a much larger international phase three study in hospitalized patients. The aim is to ensure that a million doses of inhaled interferon can be produced rapidly if these trials are similarly successful. It's still vital that we continue to find treatments for COVID-19 that complement vaccines being developed and administered and that may be useful in responding to emerging coronatype viruses and mutations. Discovery science like this, supported by the MRC and UKRI, provide a powerful springboard for the research and innovation needed to do this.